Hi everyone, welcome to night 13 of the December 25 Dies of Christmas. I'm Stacy from Dies to Die For. Tonight we're going to be making our Mary card with our snowflake background plate modified a little bit. This is probably one of my favorite cards I've done so far. I don't know if it's the colors, but let's get started. We'll start on the, no, we'll start on the A2. Okay, what I did for this card is I took our snowflake and ornament background plate right here and I kind of pieced it. I could have just cut it out like this and used it and I've done that plenty of times but I wanted to figure out how to modify it for the slimline card. So to make them look the same I took our wood pitcher frames and I cut that out in gray and that fits just inside of that perfectly. You have to trim a little bit off to get it to fit just right because this is not the wood pitcher frames were not made to go all the way to the edges of an A2 card. But, so I cut the wood pitcher frames, but then I took the ornament and I wanted the kind of pearly color snow. So I just put my paper over the very top and I cut that out. And then I wanted my hanging ornaments to be blue. So I put paper over the top of this part so it cut let's see where's this ornament from over here so it cut this whole thing and then the hanging ornaments then I took the blue hanging ornaments and I snipped the snow part off I just snipped them up straight or straight up So that you're just left with the hanging ornament on a string or a ribbon. We'll call it a ribbon tonight. Then I took my blue paper and I just put it across these ornaments and actually those snowflakes because we're going to use those too but put it across those. Then I snipped just snipped the blue ornament part off, if you can see it under my snowflakes. I put some adhesive on it and glued it down onto the light blue. My little bows right here I also did in a light blue. Just like that. That's how you build your ornaments. And then these little snowflakes, I cut these out in the darker blue or teal, whatever color it is. And then the um, cream color, shimmer, what color would you call this? The shimmery cream color. And then in the light blue also, because you're going you're gonna to use a lot of those snowflakes on this card. In case you can't tell, you're going to use a lot of snowflakes. Okay. That's how I built that. Now that we have that established, I took for my A2 card, which is 4.25 by 5.5, I took a purple piece and put it down on my card base. Then I went around it with a white ink pad and a metallic silver ink pad. I'm going to show you. Actually, I'm going to show you. See what my kids did to my white ink pad? And this is my very last color box frost white ink pad. These are my favorite and I had a ton of them. This is my last one. So if anybody has a good white ink pad, please let me know. I really need to replace that because they have all kinds of colors of ink on that. Then I went around the picture frame with the white a little bit too and the metallic silver. And we're going to glue the picture frame to... You're going to take your white piece and put it behind the picture frame. And you can either trim it before or after, but this will be a little bit longer. It's gonna to have to be trimmed off, so you can center it more. You can put it one side or the other. I chose to put it more to one side. Then I'm gonna pull it down here a little bit so more of the snowflakes show. Get that 
that glued. Oops, I just glued right on my purple. I'll just wipe it off, no big deal. snowflakes behind your window frame now. That's what this is meant to be, a window frame in case you were wondering. That was my vision anyway. Okay, now this gets a little complicated because you have to kind of get those ribbons. By, oh, I didn't show you this also and I didn't finish all the way, but where the ribbon goes up for this color I snipped it off because I want our blue ribbon to show through there. I think that was the only piece I left that I didn't snip off. So our blue ribbon is going to go right through there. Right, is that about right? Actually, I might have moved it over a little because it was a little bit shorter. Yeah, let's move it over a little so it's more in the center. Let me just hang that. And on the A2 card, you want to hang them a little bit shorter because you want your merry word to be able to fit on the bottom. Make sure I'm saving room for that. Yep. Nope, let's go shorter than that. Okay. Now, let's take our other two ornaments that think about right there and right there. It's perfect. Look, it ends right at the top. Almost look like I planned that, huh? Sorry, I know I'm talking softly. I forgot the heater's going again, so I have to get a little louder. Basically, I'm just talking to myself anyway. You guys are just along for the ride. Turn it over and make sure you support those ornaments so they don't fall off. And then cut it off straight. Then you're going to flip it back over and glue the whole thing. Make sure you put some glue in the center where the snowflakes are, just dot it different places, put glue on your ribbon and your ornaments. Turn it over and put it on our base, hopefully without making a huge mess with the glue. Make sure our ornaments are hanging kind of straight. Okay. There's that stuff. Ooh. Now, should we start top to bottom or bottom to top today? Let's put our Mary word on. 
our Mary word is from our holiday word set. I just used the Mary. And then I used our banners. Oh, that size. These banners are great. I use them on a lot of things. Anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna take a, one of the pearly cream color snowflakes and put it there. A light blue one over here. Put the snowflakes wherever you feel they need to go. Look good. And there, I could have moved those ornaments down a little bit, but we're going to call it good. Okay, now I started by taking some of the pearly color snowflakes and putting them over the picture frame because the idea of this when we were creating it Donetta that works in our warehouse this was actually one of her ideas and then I drew it up for her but the idea is that these snowflakes like this is a window and these snowflakes are kind of like the frost in the corner of the windows if you live in a cold climate you know what I'm talking about where like the ice crystals kind of form that's what this is supposed to be. So layer those on top so it looks like it's not behind the window, it's on the outside of the window. That's why we included the extra snowflakes in that set. Although whenever I use that, I wind up cutting out a ton of these snowflakes. We should have put more than two snowflakes in it. I see a redesign in the future of that die. Okay, add more snowflakes. Or maybe I'll just do that those snowflakes as another set. That would be nice too. That one right there. Okay, now that we have those layered, then I took three light blues. Somewhere right there. Smaller light blue up here. Um, how about right there? I'm going to take two of the darker blue. Mix those in. All right. That's all there is to that card. Not, there's a lot of layering in this card, but it's really not that difficult in the A2 size anyway. The slimline was a little challenging to me trying to figure out how to make this work because the largest picture frame size does not really work on the slimline die. I mean, I could have, but then you have all this dead space up here and down here. So I chose to take two of the middle size and layer, kind of do a picture frame arrangement. So I laid my picture frames out the way that I would want them, then I glued them together. That way I already had my arrangement all set up. I saved a little room in here to slide the ornament. Then I did the same thing with the cream color background. This still has the cream color snowflakes, shimmer cream color. I cut out a piece and then I just cut it to fit in my frame, put it back there and cut it to fit. There's still a little showing on the top, so I'm going to snip that off really quick. These I went around with the white ink pad and the metallic silver one also for both the base and for the picture frames. And this doesn't look like I put it on very straight, so let me, that white on it's going to drive me crazy. Let me trim it off really quick. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, now, as I was saying, I arranged these, then I built the ornaments the same way that we did on the A2 card. This one, I still not cut out, because apparently I thought I needed to show you guys twice how you cut it out. This this was a challenge too to figure these ornaments out. First, we're gonna put this guy right here. Okay, in the center. And then I think the challenge really was the length of the ribbon that I had left. That one's going to have to go right about there, and that works because the top of the ribbon will be hidden behind that snowflake, so it doesn't have to. But these I weaved through here because I want it just going behind the one layer and over top of the other. Let's get some glue on here. through here first. That way I can get them exactly where I want them. This one I know was hidden behind this little snowflake here. Turn it over and you have your hanging snowflakes or hanging ornaments, not snowflakes. I think I need to go to bed. Now we're gonna glue the whole arrangement down. While I'm you're watching me glue this, I want to take a minute to tell my son happy birthday. His birthday was actually on Monday. But I pre-recorded the video on Sunday night because Mondays are usually our busy shipping day and I didn't know if I would get time. Well, it's a good thing I did because Grace, my daughter that has helped on videos before, she's been sick. She's had two COVID tests and they were both negative, but she's still sick. So she wound up in the hospital on Monday. And poor, my poor son, his birthday was kind of overshadowed. So I just want to make sure that I tell him happy birthday. Although it was kind of nice for him because he got to celebrate his birthday all week after that. Because usually for our kids, we take them out to eat on their birthday. But all the restaurants around us are closed. So we let him pick out what he wanted for his birthday dinner, and I took him birthday shopping one of the days. 
my husband just said yesterday, it seems like it's been Zach's birthday all week. Yep. <laughs> so actually, I think he might have liked it this way better because he had several days to celebrate. Okay, we're going to do this. I'm going to put these down a little bit lower than I did on my original sample. That way there's not so much space at the bottom. Because we have the, the Mary word that's going to fill up the top. But I left a little bit too much open space at the bottom of that one. Or I felt like it was a little bit too much. Okay, that on there, and then for this one, instead of putting the snowflakes behind it, because I didn't like the look of the snowflakes behind the banner die, I put I layered the snowflakes on top, so I can just glue this straight down. And then the banner pieces, I also went around with the gray ink. I know it doesn't make a whole lot of a difference, but when you're when you see a card in person, you can tell those little, even though the the ink is really subtle, you can tell a difference. One of these days, I'm going to make a card that I inked and one that I didn't, so you guys can see the difference. A lot of times if I get a card all ready and set, I'm like, oh, I don't really like that. And then by the time I get it inked and together, something about inking all the pieces just makes me happy. Now we're just taking our snowflakes and layering them on here. some on our center window. And for any of you watching this that are local to me tomorrow, which is Saturday, no. Yes, I'm pre-recording this video, just in case you wondered. I should have probably said it on the first video. Never mind. Because by the time you guys see this, it will be Sunday night. So our open hours for December will not matter by then. Should have thought of that on the first video that I've recorded. This is the third video that I've pre-recorded tonight. That's why I still have this same ink stand on my hands. It's not that I haven't washed my hands, I just have been recording videos one after another. Because with my daughter being sick this week and Zach's birthday, I really just want Sunday to relax and not have to worry about videos or card making. And we're going to be doing our Grinch party in a bag, which is my friend's Grinch party that because we can't do it in person this year, she sent home bags for everyone to be able to have our own Grinch party and do it online. So I just kind of want Sunday to spend with my kids. But when you're pre-recording videos, it's hard to remember what day, what day you're gonna show the video on. Don't mind me, I'm just talking crazy again. Okay, then I took some snowflakes and kind of put them on the corners of all these frames. Just to dress it up a little bit. It was too plain if I did not put snowflakes on them. I really like the way that the blues and the purples work on this card. not going to say it's my all-time favorite card, but it is definitely one of my favorites that I've done for this 25 days of Christmas, or 25 dies of Christmas series. I think we're going to 
switch that up and put the big one in the center and two small ones on the sides. Oh my goodness, now I have some extra snowflakes left. What do I do with them? Well, I can see right now we need a blue one right here, I think. Should that one be blue? Yeah, we need a blue one there because we don't have blue on either side. Then I have some extra snowflakes over here because I need another light blue on the top, I think. That light blue one right there. Hmm, now I still have Early one. You can never have too many snowflakes, right? We will just keep using these until they're all gone. Do I need any over here? Let's see. Yeah, we could use one right here. Put that one right there. left. What do you guys think? I have two dark blues left. Where should I put them? By the time you answer me, I'm already going to have them down, so it's not going to matter. I need another light blue on this one, don't I? We will just keep these two stuck to my finger for a minute and get another light blue ready. do the same over here. How about that? There we go. Now I used all the snowflakes that I had adhesive on. We don't want to waste any snowflakes, do we? Okay. There you are. This is your day 13. Though I'm recording it on day 10, right? No, day 11. We're, I'm on day 11. There you are, your Merry Snowflake window card. Thank you for watching us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, I was going to tell you guys, if you have these dies and you're following along with me and making cards, feel free to post pictures. Or even if you don't make the same card, if you have that die, feel free to post pictures in the comments on our Facebook page. We love to see your guys the cards that you guys come up with. I have a lot of people who send them to me, but you're welcome to post them on stuff too. Thank you for watching and have a good day. We'll see you again tomorrow night for night 14.